Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. This is an update on the Windows 95 PC. It is up and running. I'd like to thank commenter John Smith for noticing that I had SD and EDO RAM mixed together. This is something I did not know about before doing this computer. Um, all I did was take it apart and put it back together. This is the way that I got it. So this is all new to me. You can see that the top is where the SD RAM was. Now I have two slots populated of EDO RAM and two unpopulated and down the bottom there you can see that the cache module is installed. It didn't work at first. Um, I tried just the SD RAM, it wouldn't boot. I tried four sticks of EDO RAM, it wouldn't boot. I tried removing the cache with both combinations and installing it with both combinations, it wouldn't work. It turns out I had two bad sticks of EDO RAM and the SD RAM I don't know if it was bad or not, but it would not work alone or together with the EDO. So I went ahead and installed just the two sticks as well as the external cache module. So now that it is actually up and running, I installed Windows and then got it up to date with the full fun stuff package and everything so that you'd actually have games and backgrounds. I'm going to go ahead and tear open the power supply. Not something I recommend anybody do, but this was very dusty. Um, the fan was really caked with dust, so I just wanted to get it cleaned out. We'll get this torn apart, cleaned up, put back together, and then we'll go ahead and assemble the computer, clean it up with a few zip ties, and then test out a couple games.
I also just wanted to give the keyboard a quick cleaning. It does need to be completely torn down and have the underside cleaned as well. But it was a little bit gross to touch right now, and this is the only AT keyboard I have. So I just wanted to give it a quick clean so I could use it for now. Um, just kind of scrubbed in between the keys and then wiped everything down with glass cleaner just to get it a little bit less gross. You can see the display on the tower says hi and that's because I pushed the turbo button. It doesn't actually do anything. You can push it again and it will say low. There's no turbo function on this motherboard but why not have it light up? It does work so we'll just let it work. And yes, the boot up sound is the annoying robot scheme. I did that on purpose. That was the one I used when I was a kid, so might as well have the nostalgia that I had. Now we'll just do an LGR approved MIDI test with a couple of songs. One more little video clip and then we'll play some Spin Doctor as well as Hover. Spin Doctor is not one I've played before but why not try it. And here's a weird welcome to Windows video that was in the fun stuff folder so enjoy it. Thank you. 
can't tell I really stink at hover but I'm just glad to have this computer up and running thank you to everyone else that commented I really do appreciate it it did help I was ready to give up on this computer and now we have it assembled and running so thank you for watching